given the way that New Zealand absolutely breezed through to the final. That was the real painful aspect of losing that quarter final, wasn't it? There, there was never going to be a better chance to make a final um, looking ahead. So that, and then there's, you know, you're imagining where, what this week might have been. It would have been much harder work, but it would have been much more interesting, captivating, uh, would have been more emotionally invested. It's uh, it's not unlike 2007, the last time I co covered a World Cup final here. That, to my great disappointment, ended up in being South Africa against England after France were knocked out in the semis and uh, Ireland in the pool stages. So, yeah, it's a bit. It's not only just the fact that Ireland are gone, but the, it's the fact that France are gone as well. Um, it just it would have been sensational to see France trying to win a World Cup and home soil. That would have been one to tell the grandchildren about. But um, it wasn't to be, and so we've ended up with the the two old same old superpowers, yeah. both have won it three times. It's not the most from an Irish point of view. From my point of view, maybe Rudd feels differently. I don't think it's the most exciting final I've ever looked forward to. That's for sure.